example, jumping into the aim control. So this one's a little bit more specific. So you can use, for example, to, uh, <clears throat> you know, work better on arcs, on weapons and things like that. So let me open up this shot. Okay, so this one is, let me see how it's set up here. Yeah, so the weapon is constrained to the hands. So if I track, let's track the tip of this dude here. I'm going to create an offset, move and move it a little bit to the tip. Okay, so now I'm kind of tracking. Uh, and there's a few noises in there, especially in that area here. So if I create a, a aim control for the hands, I'm going to create that in... Uh, it doesn't matter the space, whatever you feel it's better. I will create just an object space because I don't want to change the interpolation of the hand itself. It's just the rotation of it. So I'm going to create there. First step, I would try to adjust approximately the, uh, the better orientation for it. I think it is okay. I'll just scale this up. And then can I can select things. by just moving this guy and you know it's a little bit easier but let's put it that way like this arc here is completely broken I'm just getting the key somewhere Let's jump to this one. So normally, if you uh, want to animate someone like riding, it's very hard to kind of control from the wrist. You want to like pin on the tip of the pencil there. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So the pencil is already constraint to the hand in this case so I'm, uh, I'm going to create the, the aim control for the wrist the IK I'm gonna leave it in object space whatever doesn't matter and so the tip is there I already adjusted this but you know you can uh, move it to anywhere you want Then uh, if you move this one now, you have a much better control to animate this. And then again, like you can, once you are done, you can just bake that section. Or if the animation is just writing the whole way, you can just leave the setup in the scene as it is. Uh, oh, that one to stabilize the rotations. Let's let's take a look at this one. What I have. So the, the hand was animated and I just parent constraint, uh, I created a, te a temporary control constraint to the hand control. So it's just, you know, all over the place. Let me just track the, the tip of it. I'm just doing that very large move. 
movement. So what I will do. Okay, so that's how it's working. So I'm going to create an aim control for the hand. In, in world space in this case. you move it let me reset it first scale this up I'm going to use something like this as long as it's pointed forward it's fine it doesn't need to be exactly at the tip of it and for this it's more or less uh, there. So what's going on now is that uh, if I rotate this, nothing's going to happen because this is, this guy here is isolated, and that's uh, that's what we want. If I look at if I look at the graph editor now. I have some curves there. So if I take a look at the Y, for example, and I move this here, it's actually an object space. But that's okay, it doesn't matter. I, because now I want to just scale this, all, all this together. So if I scale this down, I'm just scaling it in the world space, so it's going to... It's, it's not going to move the position of the hand, it's just the rotation of it. In a way that uh, it's a little bit more controlled, like another thing that I can do here. For instance, let's uh, turn on the uh, offset, for example, and move everything downwards. Just gonna move all my keys. Maybe a little bit more to the left. I hope that makes sense. So the the next one here. Um, right. So let me open. Let me keep working on this one. So let's say I want to give a little bit more like a side to side to the hips, but I don't want to counter animate the, the whole body. Like I, I don't want to have to move this here and rotate it to compensate. And just pick this one. I'm going to create now a aim control for this. I'm going to just leave it as uh, an object space for now. That looks good. That's way too big. So one way that you can adjust the size of the control is if you need to. Okay, so if I move this control now, I can control just the side to side. I actually can, could um, make this a little bit smaller. Let's move this downwards a bit. Because then the head would, uh, the body will rotate more or less from that uh, pivot. So now I can just keep adjusting. Wait. 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 Wait.